<laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, dude. Hello, good people of the internet. My name is Hexa, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do another Lush Kitchen unboxing. I know I said I was not going to keep doing more and more of these in a row, but here's the thing. The past few weeks, I've kept trying to convince myself to do my makeup, and, and I just haven't felt like it. And I know I will make more makeup videos, but I'm just like not in that kind of mood right now, and I just decided I wouldn't force it. So um, this is what I feel like doing today, and that's what I'm gonna do. And possibly next week, maybe, there will be some fashion videos as well. I'm kind of playing with that idea, but we'll see. Today I am puppy sitting for my boyfriend. This is Ellie. She is about nine months old and very rambunctious. She loves to attack my face and bite me. Um, but I love her very much, and so she's just gonna be sitting here next to me, hopefully not being too chaotic. <laughs> Similarly rambunctious is my microphone, which the last time that I tried to film kept cutting out every three to five minutes and it was driving me insane, but I've decided to give it one more chance today and hopefully it is not feeling like being such a jerk today. But anyways, let's get into the actual point of this video. Today's Lush Kitchen box is for the month of September, and if you've seen these videos before, you know I like to start with woes on the vote, what I voted for and why, but if you wanna skip that part, timestamps are in the description box down below. So let's get into the vote. This month's vote was pretty underwhelming for me, apparently. I only voted for two out of the six options that they gave us. Starting with avocado no wash. This zingy body lotion blends avocado with bergamot and alibanum for an alluring scent that leaves you feeling soft and fruity. It would appear that I did vote for this, which is actually surprising because I'm not a huge fan of the avocado co-wash scent or the avo shower, all that kind of stuff, but I don't know. I guess I felt like giving it a try. Next we had Summer Blues Bath Bomb. Fresh floral scents surround you as blue flower petals fill the water, transporting you to your very own summer garden. I did vote for this. I love the color blue. I just think it's so pretty in the bath water and the whole fact of like having little blue flowers floating in the water seemed really romantic and sweet to me. So I did vote for this one because I thought it would just be a really great experience. Next was the Godmother Soap. Sweet scented suds lather up in this smooth and gentle soap, reminiscent of candy floss and our favorite festive fairy. As you know, if you know me, I do not like snow fairy in the least, so I didn't vote for this, even though it does have a really beautiful color and I would have loved if it also had a scent that I would actually like. Then we had Karma Shower Jelly. Zesty fresh lemongrass lifts senses to a higher dimension while calming chamomile brings a wave of chilled vibes to your shower session. Wobble back down to earth. <laughs> I didn't vote for this because I'm not that big on shower jellies. They're just a little bit like finicky and strange to me. And we do already have a Karma shower gel and other Karma products that are part of the permanent line. So I just didn't feel like I needed to have the shower jelly. Granny takes the dip bath bomb. This one looks super fun. Take a trip into psychedelic waters peppered with citrus and spice. Vivid multicolored swirls give way to purple waters, leaving you feeling relaxed and refreshed. Like I said, I did really love the design of this bath bomb, but I didn't vote for it because I'm not so big on like spicy kind of scents. So I didn't think that I would end up liking the smell of it. And lastly was grass shampoo bar. Reassuring bergamot and uplifting neroli combined with wheatgrass and sandalwood combine to, that's too many combines, <laughs> combine to fill the air with the summer scent of a freshly cut lawn for a thorough cleanse that leaves hair looking sleek and shiny. Again, another one that I didn't vote for in the end. Grass has been a little bit like hit or miss for me. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I guess today, or when I was voting for this box, I just I just didn't feel like luck was gonna be on my side with this. And also, shampoo bars from Lush are a little bit drying, I find, and just not 
great for my hair, so I decided to pass on that. I feel like out of all of the votes that we've ever had so far, this was the one that I felt least optimistic or hopeful about. If I were to have skipped a box, this is probably one I could have slash should have skipped, but I did not, and I'm just hoping that the kind of uh, bonus secret surprise products that we got in this box will pull through for me and make it worth it. So let's get into this. Got our knife, got our box. Let's dig in. Ellie, you're not helping. <laughs> No, 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 get away from the knife. No, 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 eh, no, no. Do, what, are you trying to get hurt? Okay, fresh from the kitchen. They have changed stuff around. Now there is a sticker on the inside of the box where there didn't used to be and no more inserts. Clearly they have done away with those. Okay, as usual, not gonna look at the info card until the end because I don't want any spoilers. <laughs> Ellie is crawling all over me trying to figure out what's in here. Okay, and the first thing we have in here is, whoop dropped it. Pineapple face and body wash. What? That is surprising. I'm not sure if I'll like this. I don't usually like the smell of pineapple or like, I don't like pina colada, but pineapple by itself, it depends how artificial this is. Let's find out. Ooh. <laughs> I guess we got our answer. Mm. Okay. As, as I sniff it a little longer, it's not as bad as that first hit was, but I'll have to see. It's actually, okay, it's actually starting to smell better. Maybe it was just like the, all the pent up, sorry, I'm sorry, all the, all the scents that were, were floating around in there just like all hit my nose at once. I'm still not loving it. I'm just not really big on pineapple smelling things. There are some scents in here that I do really like, but that artificial pineapple stuff is definitely going to make it hard for me to enjoy this. I don't get how this is a face and body wash though. It's like, it looks like a cream. So I'm guessing this is gonna be like a very hydrating, creamy kind of uh, body wash. Face and body wash. What do you think, Ellie? No, 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 no. That was not an invitation to lick my face. Okay, so upon first impression, pineapple is gonna get a four out of 10. I don't think I'm gonna enjoy this, but I'll give it a try. What is happening? Ellie, she's like rolling around. She's like, why are you not giving me the attention, Ziz? I kind of want to tilt the camera down a little bit so you guys can see what she's up to. I chopped off my head, that's, that's, that's too far. Is that better? Can you see a little more of her? I don't know. Did that even make a difference? I can't tell. <laughs> okay. Ooh, in here we have something that looks purple. <gasps> what? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, this, I'm instantly glad that I got this box. Sleepy candle, a sleepy scented candle. I don't know, has Lush ever done scented candles before in their entire history? I've never seen any, so. Mm. Okay, this is phenomenal. I absolutely love the sleepy scent and this is just so pretty. I love this shade of like periwinkle, not blue, I guess. It's not periwinkle actually. It's more like a lavender, I mean lavender purple. This is so, so beautiful. It's got a little Lush logo and the little like closed eye design that was on the journal that we got a few months back. Mm, and it smells like the classic comforting, relaxing, slightly sweet sort of sleepy scent. This gets an instant 10 out of 10 from me. I don't know if it's gonna be like really strong in the air when you light it or if it's gonna be kind of a, a more faint um, smell, but either way, I am really glad to have this. I love scented candles and I feel like this is really great for kind of September and the season that we're getting into. It's, it's very, uh, very conducive to hygge and, um, just those nice, relaxing, cozy fall vibes. Do you want to sniff? She's like, what is this? <laughs> 
Whoa! What is this? Holy crap, that label is beautiful. Woo! I love this. This says Happy Skin Facial Exfoliator. An enzymic, vitamin rich, and full of ground tagua nut. Tagua? Tagua? I don't know. This exfoliator will help gently clear and brighten your skin. This is so pretty. I've never seen a Lush product with a golden label before, but why do they not do this more often? Because this is so beautiful. I love it. Okay, let's open this up and give it a sniff. Ooh, it's got like a orangey kind of color. It smells very nice. This smell reminds me of something. I feel like it reminds me of a dessert or something or pudding or something like that. It smells a bit like marzipan, just like kind of a slightly bitter sort of sweetness, smells like a lot of good nutty kind of oils. Really nice. I can't put my finger on what this reminds me of, but there's definitely something. Some kind of food or something that this is like really, really making me think of. If I figure out what it is, I'll put it in the, I'll put a thing on the screen. I think it smells a little bit kind of like, kind of like, like gingerbread cookies almost. It's really nice, I really like this. All right, Happy Skin is gonna get an eight out of 10 from me. I'm excited to actually try it out. I haven't really felt the texture yet, but this looks promising and I love the golden label. I don't know why they did that, but I am loving it. And the smell is really, really nice as well. Next up in here, oh my God, this bath bomb is huge. Ugh. A little bit crumbly too. Oh no, oh no, oh no, ooh. Trying not to make it fall apart too much, but it has crumbled a little bit. This is the, the grandma one. What was it? Like grandma takes a dip or something like that. It was supposed to be very trippy and psychedelic-y themed. I think I said this, th that I didn't vote for this because it had spicy stuff in it. On first impression, it honestly smells like Smecta to me. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's like a... It's like a powder thing that you put into water and you drink it when you have like an upset tummy. I think it's like chalk, basically. And I think I'm getting a, like a little bit of a spicy sort of kick in this, but mm, overall just like a very underwhelming scent. I don't really like this, but it does look very fun and it's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. So I don't know, I'll give this like a five out of 10. It's nothing that I think I will enjoy, but at least it looks pretty. <laughs> Ellie, what do you think? Come here. Come here so the people can see. Okay, they can see you. <laughs> I don't think she's a fan either. Put that down. Blech. Oh, and we have two more items in here. So I guess the candle was a bonus, which is really nice. I thought that was like a product in and of itself because it's... Seems like a big investment to make into this box. Okay, this was the one that I voted for. One of the things that I actually did vote for. Um, I forget what it was called, floating flowers or something. I don't know, but it, it did say something about flowers floating, so. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Something in here almost smells salty, actually, which is really strange. It smells a little bit like, like, like a beachy sea breeze kind of vibe mixed with those amazing florals. Maybe this has like algae in it or something. Definitely gives me that kind of vibe or maybe some kind of herbal something. Either way, I do really like this. I'm glad that I voted for it and I'm so glad that we got it. I think it's gonna look beautiful in the water. I can't wait to see what it looks like. <laughs> It's a really simple design, but it has those like herbs and flowers poking out of it to its advantage. So it looks a little bit like special and mysterious. So I really like that. This is going to get a solid eight out of 10. The scent is quite subdued. It's not like really overpowering or really strong, like kind of a lot of white florals tend to be. It's a little bit more mellow. I think it's gonna be very, very calming and very soothing and yeah I'm excited about this one and lastly we have our last item that also comes in a jar okay so this is the avo no wash body lotion which I voted in actually I did vote for this oh okay I didn't I <laughs> in hindsight I don't think I should have I, I or I don't know I didn't think that this was something that I would vote for, but apparently I did. So actually I got lucky. We got both of the things that I voted for, so no complaints there. Let's give this a sniff and see how it turned out. Ooh, this is a lot more green than it looked in the picture. 
uh, still not really a fan of the scent. The texture of this looks absolutely beautiful. It looks very, very creamy and nice, but it's good. just got like some weird spice in there that Excuse me, was that a- was that a sneeze? <laughs> what was this? I am sorry, is my lush box disturbing your little- little schnoz? Your little schnozzle don't like all the perfumes, you like the stinky treats, the stinky treats. As I was saying, um, Avo No Wash has just like some kind of- some kind of spice in there or something that just doesn't really appeal to me that much, but I'll give it a try. If not, I'll put it up on my Depop and that'll be that. Right, rating. Um, for Avo No Wash, four out of 10 as well. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it. Again, the texture looks really nice, but it's just not my cup of tea when it comes to the scent. So that was it for this month's box. One thing that is really surprising is, hello, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> She's playing with one of the, um, what are they called? Corn, the, 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 these thingies. Let me give her a few more. <laughs> so one thing that was really surprising about this month's box is I think this is the first one that did not have a shower gel in there. As far as I can remember, I've gotten every box and every single one up until this point has had a shower gel in there. So I don't know why this month we didn't get one. Not that I mind, but I do tend to get the most use out of shower gels just cause I don't know, they're like convenient and yeah, I really use them every day. But having said that, I actually think overall this was a pretty good box. I really love the blue bath bomb, the happy skin and the sleepy candle. That was a huge surprise and I'm really, really glad that it was included. And I think they were pretty generous with the product sizes in this box as well. There were no like, you know, little half size jars of product. So overall I am pretty happy even though there were a few kind of misses for me. But let me know what you guys think if you got the box, which was your favorite item in here and if you didn't get the box what do you wish that you would have gotten a chance to try i want to thank you all so much for joining me for another lush unboxing if you like this video and you want to see more go ahead and subscribe and if you want to follow me on instagram all of my links are down below in the description box thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video bye <laughs> ellie what are you doing please do not eat them your dad will kill me